Take an average day in Austin, Texas. It's just like many other cities, busy, growing. Hotter than some, prettier than most. But she also has another thing that the average city doesn't have. Loud, thundering, ear-ringing booms are almost daily occurrences in Austin, Texas. No, ma'am, that was no bomb. That was a sonic boom. We decided to clear up the haze, to trace a sonic boom from its source. That's why we came here to Carswell Air Force Base at Fort Worth, Texas. Here is a sonic boom before it happened. The B-58 Hustler jet bomber, the world's fastest bomber. There are only two wings of these bombers in the entire nation, and one of them is based here at Carswell, the other at Bunker Hill, Peru, Indiana. The man you see him now will no doubt be recognized by many of you. He was one of the pilots on Jimmy Doolittle's famous B-25 raid over Tokyo during World War II. He is also a recent past commander of Bergstrom Air Force Base in Austin. And now he is the 43rd Bomb Wing Commander here at Carswell. He is Colonel Everett Holstrom, known to most people as Brick Holstrom. Brick is an old B-25 and B-52 man. How do you like flying the B-58? Well, the B-58, uh, in case of war, uh, we would react the same as any other air crew and aircraft in Strategic Air Command. That is, the airplane would uh, take off and go to its target and drop a thermonuclear bomb. General Dynamics of Fort Worth, Texas makes the B-58 bombers. Mr. Turner is assistant to the president. Well, sonic booms are man-made thunder caused by aircraft flying faster than the speed of sound. They're shock waves or pressure waves that follow the airplane as long as it's flying supersonically. This is a B-58 and dragging with it in the form of a pressure cone is this sonic our pressure wave and a person on the ground at the instant that passes over him he hears it as a sonic boom and a few seconds later or a few minutes later somebody in the flight path in the same direction he would hear it as a sonic boom and as long as an airplane is flying supersonically it's dragging a pressure wave or a sonic boom along with it does the speed of the airplane uh, affect the intensity of the boom well, to some extent, the speed of the airplane has something to do with it, and the size of the airplane has something to do with it. But the factor that has most to do with it is the altitude of the airplane. Now, you'll note from this chart that the higher the airplane is flying, or the smaller the boom. This is true of the B-58, or it's true of the uh, numerous other airplanes that fly supersonically. So it would seem that the sonic boom is here to stay, the theme song of the jet age, the space age. Call it what you may, a nuisance, a frightening experience. It's the sound of security, because the sonic booms heard over Austin are heard all the way to Moscow, and they're even louder when they reach there. Apparently, our new generation accepts a sonic boom without hardly a second thought, for the boom is as common to them as the backfire of a Model T Ford was to yesterday's generation. And because of the deterring power of the planes that cause the sonic boom, there's a strong likelihood that there will be future generations of Americans to hear and probably complain about sonic booms.